Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can read in the title, I'm going to be sharing with you my June favorites. I know June has been such a heavy and an emotional month. I know we're all sort of going through it and I want to talk about that towards the end of the video, but I do still want to mention my June favorites and just give you guys sort of like a happy place to go to and take your mind off things. I actually only have one beauty item for this month's favorites and the rest of the products are like lifestyle products and items. For sure, next month I'm going to have so much more makeup because I'm currently testing out so much new makeup. I just want to try to out for a little bit longer before I add it into my monthly favorites because my monthly favorites are like things that I've been like constantly constantly using but with that being said let's just jump straight into my monthly favorites so let's start off with my one and only beauty item it's actually a skincare item it's an eye cream this one is from Mizon it's their multi-function formula snail repair eye cream one of you guys actually told me to get this eye cream I mentioned in my natural soft makeup look that I've been struggling with fine lines underneath my eyes. I'm only 24 and I already have a couple of fine lines underneath my eyes and I've been struggling finding an eye cream that was cruelty free and also affordable and then one of you guys told me that this eye cream was cruelty free and affordable and you can get it off your style. So I purchased it and I have been loving it. I would say I've been trying it for I think probably like two months now, maybe like a month and a half, but I've been loving it. I wouldn't say that it's like erasing my fine lines underneath my eyes, but I definitely feel like my fine lines look a little bit smoother. When I bake underneath my eyes, I feel like my under eyes don't look so dry, so I feel like this eye cream is really working. I definitely want to try out more products from their line because I'm just so impressed with this eye cream, and it was actually really affordable. I think it was about 12 US dollars. Don't quote me on that. I'll link it down below. So if you're the person that recommended me this eye cream, thank you so much. You have helped with my under eye issues. Okay, and now we're on to lifestyle things. I turned 24 at the beginning of this month, so I received a lot of presents <laughs> from my friends and family, which I'm really grateful for. And I want to mention some of them to you guys since I've been using the heck out of them. So the first one is this tracking pad pen tablet. This one is from Wacom. And my brother actually bought this for me for my birthday. It kind of suits my aesthetic today. He actually asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I thought of this because for the longest time I've been wanting to get an iPad so I could hand write my fonts but my friend actually has this and when we made this little logo, I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but that little J logo you see, we used her tracking pad. It was just so fun to like doodle on a pad. It's definitely more affordable getting this and to hand write your fonts than getting an iPad. This is about I think like 180 New Zealand dollars. 190 like almost $200 in New Zealand and an iPad is like 500 600 although I haven't used procreate on iPad to handwrite my fonts I can imagine the iPad would be much easier because when you are drawing you can see what you're drawing out but this is like you have to look at your laptop screen or computer screen and like look up and down like this and have more control definitely in the beginning it was a little bit harder for me to get used to but now I'm like sort of getting a little bit better I'm getting used to like the dimension and everything and also when he bought this you could choose choose out of three apps that you want to download to use and the one I'm using I think it's like clip paint studio I think that's what it's called and it came free with this which is like a really great value and I hope you guys have been noticing the cute little fonts that I've been adding in I've been playing around with like animating them a little bit and you can also see in my thumbnail there's a lot more hand drawn handwritten fonts so I'm hoping you guys notice and think it's cute it does take me so much more time to edit a video like before I thought it took me so long to edit a video but now it's like even longer, I'm like, why did I decide to handwrite my fonts, you know? I've just been really liking this. It makes me feel a little bit more professional and um, I don't know. Like, I know my videos aren't the most well edited and fun videos, but I just want to always feel like I'm doing my best. And for a little bit, I felt like, what is the next step for me to do my best? And that was handwriting all my fonts, which takes much more time and every time when I upload I have that like okay I did my best this is the best I could do for where I am right now and I think that is just what I 
want to do and this has definitely been helping me feel that like I don't know satisfaction I would recommend this I think a lot of people start off with this tablet and then move into the iPad so hopefully one day I can save up for an iPad and make it a little bit easier on myself because this is taking me a long time and I just have more of an appreciation for digital illustrators and digital artists because it's just <laughs> wow okay anyway that's my second favorite. My next favorite was also a birthday gift from my really good friend. She got me a hand mixer. This one is from KitchenAid and she got it in the cream ivory shade. It is just so pretty, so cute, so aesthetic. I have been baking so much more recently. Although New Zealand is currently not in quarantine, pretty much everything is reopened. We're allowed to go out. Everyone is pretty much back to work. I think for like 24 days, there were zero active cases in New Zealand, but now there has been a couple new cases. I think in total, we might have 14 active cases right now, which is a really low number. Even after quarantine, I've still been baking. I've been, again, just trying my best. I'm not the best at baking, but it's just so much fun. It's so therapeutic and time just flies by when you're baking. My favorite thing to bake right now is chocolate chip cookies. And I know you can just buy that at the grocery store, but something about getting the ingredients, baking it yourself and eating that as a snack, like what you made, just feels so much more like, I don't know, wholesome you just put so much love and work into this cookie and you're eating that and it's like you worked for your food sort of it even comes with this cute aesthetic bag as well and it comes with the original two like mixer i haven't really played around with any of the other things but you know it comes with a lot of different handles and my next favorite is actually an app a photo app to be more specific it is called foodie and before foodie i was using snow and i love snow but sometimes the filters can be a little bit like much it can make you look very pale but just like the name says this app is more for like food but i feel like taking photos of i don't know nature of, of yourself i feel like the filters on foodie is much more i would say i wouldn't say natural because you definitely can tell there's a filter on it but it just seems I don't know a little bit more realistic than snow I still use snow but I feel like I've been using foodie so much I've been using foodie to take selfies and just all random things like I've been using this for like my Instagram stories and the filter that I like is simple one and I also like crispy one and crispy two I'm sure you guys might have already heard of this app but if you haven't I think it's like probably one of the best photo apps with the best filters so far like other than visco like the actual camera camera I think foodie is like a really great one and my next favorite is this candle that I made. Look how stinking cute this candle is. So on my birthday, we went to a candle making class. I will write her name here if you guys are in Auckland and you're just looking for like a wholesome activity to do with your friends. Go make candles. It's so therapeutic. It's so fun. It's so wholesome. So if you're in the Auckland area, go check her out. She's so kind. She's so nice. So we made this candle and also a wax perfume that I actually hung on my bathroom door. I didn't want to take it off because it's pretty fragile but we made this candle you can decorate it yourself you can choose the scent and there's so many other candles you can make you can make little tart candles so it looks like a fruit tart but it's actually a candle you can make sodas you can make coffee i think for the first one that i wanted to make was just like an actual candle so if you wanted to burn this you would have to take all of the dried flowers off which i didn't want to do i think it looks really pretty very aesthetic so i just display this on our guest bathroom sink and you still can smell it like me holding like this you can smell it and it does make the bathroom smell a little bit obviously if you wish to burn it it will smell stronger but also on my birthday i did go ahead and get my cartilage or my helix re-pierced i got it first pierced when i was like 16 i got two in my cartilage but it got infected because i was playing around with it and then i don't know i just wanted to get it re-pierced but this time i only got one i think maybe just one looks better for now i didn't really get a lot of questions about it but one of you guys did ask me to talk about it and the pain and everything like like that just in case like you guys want to get it pierced as well the first time i got it pierced i got it pierced at a pharmacy and they used a gun which is a no-no don't be young and dumb like me but 
I went to a tattoo parlor. I'm not gonna recommend this tattoo parlor. It was hygienic and everything, but I just feel like the lady that pierced my ear, I feel like she kind of pierced it wrong. I think she pierced it too sideways when it should be going like backwards. It's sort of hard to explain. But anyway, I was really nervous. I feel like the older I get, the more scared I am, the more self-conscious I am. I don't know why. When I was 16 and got it first pierced, I was not scared at all. I was like excited. I was excited to get this pierced, but I was also like very nervous and just like, oh, just like the thought of like a needle going through my ear just like freaked me out. I think when she put the needle through my ear, that didn't really hurt too much. It's when she took the needle out to put the earring in. That's when it hurt. After a while, it just feels like it's throbbing, like your ear is just sort of like tender and bruised. Now that it's been like three to four weeks since I got in this pierce, I feel like it's completely healed. I can touch my ear freely. I sleep on this side now. The first week, it was okay, but the second week was, it felt like it was bruised. It was really sore and very, very tender. But then the third week, it wasn't red anymore and it just toned down. So I think everybody's different, but that was my experience. I wouldn't say it's like the most painful thing just because you know it's only gonna be very temporary like it's so quick can't wait to take this out and like change the airing if you guys know any good jewelry stores on instagram or something let me know down below i've been following a couple as of recently i just want some cute little earrings but yeah, got my college face. And usually I would mention my music favorites, but I feel like it was sort of pointless mentioning it because I couldn't play the music because of copyright. So instead I'm going to just create a Spotify playlist and I'll link it down below so you guys can just listen to the music and what I've been listening throughout the month because I feel like June was such a good month for music. I found so many new artists that I've been loving, like smaller artists. Offshore came up with more music with Juni and Diff. We got the black pink comeback we we came out with a song i've been loving soul i've been loving dawn i just found so much more music and artists that i've been loving so i'm just gonna leave my spotify playlist down below for the month of june so you guys can listen check it out and just see what i've been listening to and that was all of my favorites for the month of june if you guys made it this far into the video i'm glad you did because i am posting a giveaway with olens we did hit 100k in june which i'm going to talk about and i'm going to host my own giveaway for hitting that milestone but i'll talk about it a little bit later on but i thought this would be a nice little pre 100k giveaway but olens was kind enough to host a giveaway with me and they are going to pick out three winners and you are going to win three pairs of their new Scandi lenses. I am wearing a Scandi Olive right now and I mentioned the Scandi line in my last month favorites. But they recently just launched the Scandi Aqua and Scandi Light Grey. So you'll be winning these two lenses and a random other Scandi color. So you'll be getting three lenses in total and there's going to be three winners. So I'm gonna leave all of the giveaway rules down below in the description box. So just open that up and then just follow the rules and you will be entered. And before I let you guys go, I just want to talk to you guys about stuff that's not, you know, makeup or lifestyle things i want to talk about what's going on in the world because i think in the beginning of june and of may with the black lives matter movement it's sad that even though in 2020 only now this is like a wake-up call and more people are wanting to educate themselves on this matter and having these conversations with their family and i definitely fall under that usually i don't really speak up about things it's in my culture or in asian culture like it's better to just stay quiet stay out of it like that's not our business and that's not right like things have to change definitely this month i've been reading a lot more i've been educating myself i've been having conversations with my family because i think you can educate yourself but i think it starts within your circle and especially with your family i had conversations with my mom which is was so difficult because like it's already hard to really talk to my mom but it's also hard to talk to her because there's also like a language barrier i've had a conversation with my brother and you know it's stuff that i've always wanted to talk about with them but I just never did because it's like oh it's always pushed back like oh I'll tell them next time and I would really encourage you guys to I don't think this is something that you know just happened and you know we stopped talking about it's something we should keep talking about and continue to educate ourselves and not only with the Black Lives Matter movement Yemen is also in a huge huge crisis I will leave links down below there was two websites that I found very helpful they just linked everywhere in one site so whether you wanted to educate 
yourselves a little bit more or if you want to donate if you want to sign petitions there's different tabs that you can open that will lead you to the right sources so i'll leave those links down below and then there's just like a lot of things that's going on in the world but with that heavy topic i want to leave this video in a more positive note we did hit 100k on this channel oh my gosh guys like this has been a goal of mine for so long and i just want to thank you guys so much for helping me achieve this like honestly if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos this definitely would have not happened i do want to host a giveaway i pretty much have all the items ready to go it's just with COVID going around, I don't know if your country is going to let me ship things to you or what the case is. Oh, and I was thinking I might just hold it off for a little bit until things get better in more countries, but then I was thinking maybe I should just host it now and then select the giveaway and just talk to you personally on your situation if I'm able to send it out or not. I'm still thinking about it, but definitely it's coming soon. I want to give back to you guys. I want to give my thanks. My silver button it's on its way and i want to show that to you guys as well so hopefully in july favorites the silver button will be here <laughs> so crazy but yeah thank you guys so much i know it's just a number but it really does mean a lot to me i've been on youtube for six years i started in 2014 that's when my first upload was don't even try and go back to my old videos okay i put a lot of them on private um but my first upload was in september 2014 so i've been doing this for a while and even though in the beginning i didn't really know what i was doing and what i wanted to do it's been a long time and i've been consistent with this i've been working on this and it's just funny how things turned out you know I don't know I've learned a lot about myself on YouTube and I think the things that I've learned I wouldn't have learned in a different career path career path it's not really my career yet but like um career path I feel more confident but then I also feel more self-conscious and I doubt myself a lot more like I mentioned before like the older I'm getting I feel like the less confident I am and the more scared I am but then I also feel fearless and I also feel more confident it's like a double-edged sword almost I'm more confident going outside without makeup on but then I'm also so critical of myself on how I look on camera and how my makeup looks turn out it was just a little like even just yesterday I had a little cry about it but uh, I think we're all just figuring it out I'm just spewing my thoughts because I don't know if you guys really understand like what I'm really doing I'm literally just talking to myself in my living room to a camera so I can feel very vulnerable because I'm just talking to myself. I'm just spewing my thoughts. But who knows, I might edit this out and you might never see it, but I might want to be more vulnerable and open with you guys. I might leave it in. Who knows? I'm just thankful for you guys. Thank you for this milestone. I can't wait to see what the future has for us and our little family. I love our little family and community here on this channel. You guys are literally the sweetest people ever. Like you literally make me want to cry every single time I read your comments. Like, <sighs> thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to open up the description box for the giveaway rules. And with that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!